All right, here we have uh, another type of cache that's very popular in Korea. Uh, it has a magnet on the bottom and you can affix this to the, to the uh, metal frame of a bench or a fence or anything like that. And you just unscrew the top and inside you have uh, the log sheet. Well, this one's all wound up, but you unwind it and you sign it and you wind it back up, put it back in screw the cap on and put it back where you found it. Easy peasy. Now for, for this cache, even though the, the ground zero coordinates are over there at the end of the bridge, the cache is actually way over here. Now how did I find it? <laughs> well, I just walked around looking for anything that might not look natural. And these, these little logs stacked up like that that's not very natural and sure enough there's the cache hiding in there this is a, um, a military uh, matchbox it's waterproof so there you have it sometimes your coordinates deceive you and uh, why is it that coordinates can be so far off well the person who hides the cache they might they the coordinate readings they get are going to be five to ten meters off of perfect probably up up to that up to that and my coordinates looking for it uh, I'm going to be probably five to ten meters off of perfect so uh, it's I get, I think things are getting better now. Satellites are pinpointing better, but you still have you still have that window of error. So you can't just look in the ground zero area. You have to spread out, circle back and forth. Pays off. All right, I came up from the trail this way. And the description said it was a coin size magnetic. So you get under here. I looked on top under the benches. It was not likely up there, but I thought I'd check anyway. And there's a lot of metal under here. A lot of places it could be, and the coordinates are not perfect, remember. But if you look around enough, you will see it. And there it is, right there. It's a magnetic and coin size just like the hider said out that way is the reservoir and the path that I was following is down there there's a little trail that comes up here and uh, I don't know what all this white stuff is maybe maybe there was a group and they did that so people could help pull themselves up as a temporary measure but they should have taken their white stuff with them maybe I don't know I am long past trying to read their minds. <laughs> anyway, what am I looking for? Another geocache. And you look for something that doesn't look natural. That does not look natural. Let's see what's under all this. Spiders! Ah, ah look at that. Okay. It's just a little container. All right. Power aid. Oh, it's two Powerade caps somehow put together. Let me see how they did that. Hmm, I'm still not sure how they did that because I thought maybe they had cut the top off the, of a bottle. Unless they... No. Oh, yeah, they might have cut the top off of a bottle and the, and the inside ring there is the cut off part because this part up here is too smooth. Yeah, they took uh, two, Powerade is like Gatorade, so they took the caps off that, cut off the top part, the neck, screwed one in, uh, in there, and then this screws on top, and uh, there's the log. Cool. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Neat idea. Uh, the log sheet is a little damp, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a rest and just uh, leave it out here in the air, the dry air, 
and until it dries out a little bit and then put it back in its uh, container. Let me see. I'm the third per Oh, I ruined my name. I wasn't dry yet. <laughs> I'm the third person to find this cache. I can't read who the f first to find was. Chiho Kim, of course, he finds them all. Chiho Kim is, uh, uh, he's, he's like the master geocacher. And I was thinking, when I say his name, Chiho, but if you say it fast, it's like Geo. He could have, he could have had G E O Kim, I think. Jio Kim, and it would have sounded like his name. His name is Kim Ji Ho. It would have sounded like his name and been a, like a cute geocaching handle. That's just me. That's how I think. There. My hand is about even with the uh, spider. Oops. <laughs> That's a big spider. Like he's sucking some juices out of something. Mmm. That's a successful spider right there. Oh my god, there's another one right over there. Can I get by? Alright. Look at that. Ah, uh, he sees me. Wow. He's bigger than that other one. Well, maybe about the same size. Well, what am I doing back here in Spiderville? Um, there's a geocache on this pulse. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> He's just a tiny bit smaller than the others. Wow. But still, still big. I'm not necessarily afraid of spiders. It's just, I just don't like the feel of them on me. It just creeps me out. Um, there's a cache back here somewhere. Or there's a cache on this power pole and I just saw it so there it is okay so there's a spider there's a spider and there's that spider right there and the cache is right over here I just wanted to give you a perspective it's right in there it's a little uh, a film canister they call it maybe it was a film canister I don't know do they still sell film Anyway, that's pretty cool. Not difficult. Okay, I came down from that way. And I didn't know if I should do the sidewalk or the boardwalk. I wasn't sure. So I got on the boardwalk. But I should have been on the sidewalk side because I'm in the bushes here. And the cache was um, in that skirt there. It was just a, a little thing like that. And it was on the uh, sidewalk side. So I probably, it probably would have been better if I'd been on the other side, but it's all right. It's not that hard to uh, get back onto the boardwalk. It, uh, it would be hard to get over the fence though. So when I put this back, I'm gonna put it back exactly where I found it. All right, that last one was a DNF and that was the last one of today. The rest are up on that hill. I don't have time to go, so. Thanks for watching everybody. Before I blow away, ah!